Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone. We got a great face off for you today. If you're a Sprint user, you've got a couple of great choices now. You've got the HTC Evo 3D, offers 4G WiMAX connectivity. Not only that, but you also have the Samsung Nexus S 4G, also offering WiMAX 4G connectivity. Both phones also run Android 2.3. Gingerbread. So I thought we'd do a little face off between these two, help you figure out which one's going to work best for you. I want to thank my friends over at Best Buy and Mobile for setting me up with both of these phones. If you're in need of a smartphone, don't forget to check out Best Buy and Mobile. And also, don't forget to stop by smartphoneemmy.com, check out the winner of today's face off, along with the written review, also some photo, photos and video posted from both of today's contestants. All right, let's kick off our face off the HTC Evo 3D. Dual band CDMA, EVDO Rev A 3G, and WiMAX 4G connectivity. Weighs in at 170 grams, so I put it in a heavyweight class. Build quality, you've got Gorilla Glass. Basically, the rest of the phone is made out of a high grade plastic. However, very, very solid. Again, at 170 grams. Uh, color schemes, pretty much black on black on black. You've got some nice chrome accents on the camera mode switch as well as the shutter key. Nice Ferrari red stripe around the dueling five megapixel cameras. HTC logo, again, is in a nice chrome, offers a nice chrome accent. The texture coat on the back is a crisscross. The whole phone has sort of a tacky feel to it, which is a real positive in that it feels very solid in your hands. It doesn't feel like you're going to drop it whatsoever. Off the battery cover, which you can see is made out of a thin piece of rubberized plastic. Underneath the battery cover, you've got a 1300, excuse me, 1730 milliamp hour battery rated eight hours of talk time. Just above on the left is your micro SD card slot. Comes with a pre-installed eight gigabyte micro SD card. It is not hot swappable, which is kind of a shame. Up on top is the three and a half millimeter headphone jack along with the one of the microphones and the power and lock key. On the right hand side, your volume rockers up and down, camera mode switch, as well as the shutter key. And on the bottom is the other microphone. And on the left-hand side is the micro USB port. All right, Google's Nexus S4G from Samsung. Again, dual band CDMA, EVDO Rev A 3G, and WiMAX 4G connectivity. Weighs in at 131 grams, so I put it probably in the middleweight class. Build quality, again, you've got Gorilla Glass. or scratch resistant with a special fingerprint resistant coating over it. And one of the things that's very slick about this phone is the actual display is curved, which is very nice. Uh, nice high-grade plastic rim around the display. Again, color scheme is black, as you can see. Got a uh, Google Accent as well as a Samsung Accent, or excuse me, logos are in Chrome. Let me pop the battery cover for you. Again, battery cover is made out of a rubberized plastic, and there is no texture coating on it, but it doesn't really feel all that slick. Um, battery itself, 1500 milliamp hour battery rated at six hours of talk time. Again, no micro SD card slot, as you can see here. Put the battery cover back on, pop it into place. I think we've got it. Up on top is just simply the release for the battery cover. On the right hand side is the power and lock key. On the bottom is the microphone, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, along with the micro USB port. And on the left hand side is the volume rocker. All right, let's talk cameras. Evo 3D, dueling five megapixel cameras, autofocus. You can see the dual LED flash, geotagging as well as face detection. Uh, takes stills in both 2D and 3D format. Video capture 720p also in 2D and 3D formats as well. On the Nexus S4G, you've got again a five megapixel camera with autofocus and LED flash. Also offers um, geotagging and touch focus. Video capture is WVGA at 30 frames per second. All right, let's take a look at the displays on both. It does line up for you. A couple of nice displays. You've got the 4.3 inch 3D Super LCD capacitive touch display with a QHD resolution of 540 by 960 on the Evo 3D. Offers an accelerometer, sensor proximity, sensor multi-touch, as well as a gyro sensor. Upper right-hand corner, you've got a 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera for video calls. Below the display, you have four touch-sensitive keys, home key, main menu key, back key, and search key. On the Nexus S4G, you've got a 4-inch Super AMOLED capacitive touch display with a resolution of 480 by 800. Also offers an accelerometer, sensor proximity, sensor multi-touch, and gyro sensor. Upper right-hand corner, you've got a front-facing VGA camera for video calls. And below the display, you have four touch-sensitive keys, order, back key, main menu key, search key, and home key. As far as memory, the Evo 3D offers four gigabytes of internal storage, one gigabyte of RAM, 
and internal storage can be expanded an additional 32 gigabytes with the use of a micro SD card. Nexus S 4G comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage, 512 megabytes of RAM. Wi-Fi on the Evo 3D, 802.11bg and n with support for DLNA and HDMI out. Nexus S 4G offers Wi-Fi 802.11bg and n Bluetooth version 3.0 with support for A2DP on the Evo 3D. Version 2.1 with support for A2DP on the Nexus S 4G. Both have GPS with support for AGPS. Both phones can be used as Wi-Fi hotspots. Processor on the Evo 3D is Qualcomm's 1.2 GHz MSM 8660 dual-core processor. On the Nexus S 4G, it's Samsung's 1 GHz Hummingbird single-core processor. Operating system Evo 3D is Android 2.3.3 Gingerbread. On the Nexus S 4G, it's Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread. And the user interface on the Evo 3D is HTC Sense version 3.0. On the Nexus S 4G, the UI is Android. As you can see, I've downloaded the Quadrant Center benchmark test on both. Let's kick these off. There we go. Finally, got a good clean start on both. The Evo 3D has a big advantage here uh, in processor and in RAM. Got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor on the Evo 3D along with one gigabyte of RAM versus a one gigabyte single core processor with only 512 megabytes of RAM. So we're expecting the Evo 3D to come out on top. And we're both into graphics. You can check out the frames per second and frame rate lower left hand corner on both displays. Also gives you a good look at the displays on both. Excuse me, well I got a text message there. Alright, we've got one done. And on the Evo 3D came back with a score of 2024. Waiting for the Nexus S 4G to finish up. And Nexus S came back with a score of 1630. So even though it's a single core processor and has half as much RAM, did a pretty good job. Came back um, 1600 versus 2000. So our winner of the Quadro Center benchmark test is the Evo 3D. Moving right along, let's run our unofficial speed test. And I just booted both of the phones. Let's go in and check under applications first off the amount of RAM available at boot up on both. And we've got 209 megabytes free on the Nexus S4G and around 580, maybe a little bit more on the Evo 3D. All right, let's kick this off. And again, I'm going to try and make this as close as I can. That was definitely the Nexus S. I couldn't tell on that one. I'll need you guys to help me with that. Maps. It looked like the Nexus S. Contacts. That was the Nexus S. Messaging. Hard to tell. I think it was the Nexus S. Try to mark it. Again, they're both running off the same Wi-Fi network. That was definitely the Nexus S. Let's try Gmail. That was also the Nexus S. Let's go third-party movies. That was also the Nexus S. And then let's let that fully load. I guess that's just as far as it's going to. Let's try so you can pull up the video first. Or the trailer. And again, a Nexus S. All right, there's a look at our unofficial speed test, and based on that, the Nexus S actually outperformed the Evo uh, 3D in opening your stock Android applications along with one third-party Flickster movie application. Let's run our YouTube comparison. I've got both of the contestants or combatants running off the same Wi-Fi network, both set to default to play in HQ, and let's kick this off.
All right, there's a look at our first one. Let me switch the... So you get a look at the lighting the same on both. Let's go here all over your face and we're off. All right, let's take a look at one more. What do we got here? Public tree urine wrap. That sounds DreamWorks. Here we go. Puss in Boots. How about, oh, damn it. Get back here. All right. Yeah, we go. Puss in Boots on both, and we're off. All right, there's a look at our YouTube comparison. The Nexus S 4G spooled up all three of the videos, YouTube videos quicker than the uh, Evo 3D. And then I'll let you guys decide which of the two displays you prefer. All right, next up, let's run our navigation test on both. Navigate to Corner Bakery. Well, obviously, neither one of them had any problem at all putting that together for us. Let's put them on mute. Both grabbed it. The uh, Evo 3D was just a hair quicker, but as you can see, neither one of them had a problem with it. Let's take a look at the Evo 3D, and the map looks great. Again, we can double tap to zoom in, pinch to zoom in further if we like. Let's pull it out a little bit and see how it redraws. Nice and quick. Looks great. All right. Pretty smooth on the Nexus S as well. Double tap to zoom in. Pinch to zoom as well. Let's pinch to zoom and get out. There we go. It's to redraw. Seems to handle it quite well also. So I would have to say both of them passed the navigation portion of our face off with flying colors. All right, let's wrap up part one with our gaming experience. Again, it's time for me to embarrass myself. Asphalt 5 is not available or will not run on the Evo 3D, only Asphalt 6. Asphalt 6 will not run on the Nexus S, so we're doing this. So I hope it's uh, all right with you. And we'll let that load up. And this is the first time this is loaded up on here. And again, you got to give me a break because I'm doing this through a camera lens. All right, there's a look at the Nexus S. I go with the Evo 3D, and again, this is in 2D. That's not what I wanted. Sorry about that. There we go, free race. In 3D, you can't tilt the uh, your phone to steer. You have to use your fingers on the display which I found um, pretty much impossible. And since 2D, 3D doesn't show over the camera, we'll do it this way.
All right, there's a look at a little gaming on both of our combatants.